Hey guys, it's Kraus. Welcome back everybody to Anno 1800. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like and also leave some nice feedback in the comment section. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the fifth episode in our Anno closed beta playthrough and so far the community has grown quite a bit. The previous episode we did colonize the new world and once again I gotta say it the details it is so 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 beautiful also by the way i did receive 20 more closed beta keys for a giveaway so do check out the description if you guys want to participate but don't wait up hurry 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 because the closed beta ends in a few days so check the description and enter the giveaway but with that being said the island of Belo Vertical has grown quite a bit. Previous episode, we set up pretty much everything we see over here. And um, this game can be a little bit overwhelming in a good way because there's just too much to do. So today we're going to be focusing on one thing and that is artisans. But uh, what did we do here? Yeah, we do have the poncho production with the alpacas. A little bit, uh, maybe a little bit tight squeeze here in the enclosure. But uh, hey... It works. Ponchos are being produced over here. And also the plantains. People told me that this is super delicious in real life. I have never had it. Because this is kind of like bananas. <laughs> bananas. Look at this cauldron. <laughs> Look at this lid. That is crazy. And also we are actually exporting rum back to the old world. So we do have a little bit of sugarcane plantations. And here is where the magic happens. The rum. So what exactly do you guys need? You need canned food, you need sewing machines, you need fur coats later on, and university. And what makes you happy in life? Beer makes you happy, that makes me that happy in life as well. The Theater, not so much. And we need to get uh, more rum imported from, from the new world. But first things first, so theater you say. Canned food and sewing machines, let's take a peek at this. Canned food, uh, kettle farm, red pepper farms, a kitchen which makes goulash. That is Iron Mine, we've got that. And Cannery. That's got like a whole new production chain. Crap! And Sewing Machine? Iron Mine, Coal, Logs, Furnace, and Sewing Machine Factory. Oh my goodness, it's huge! That's what she said! It looks amazing, however. But uh, that's a whole new production chain, especially this guy over here. Kettle Farm and Red Pepper. By the way, Camford over here. Didn't they have uh, the red peppers? Yes, they do. So, okay, that is something we're going to do today. We're going to set up something on uh, on Camford, but let's get back over here and let's get them. What was it? Theater, right? Yes, let's start with that. And uh, how do we go about this? First things first, however, let's upgrade some of the roads because we do have quite a bit of bricks. So, let's make use of those guys. So let's go all the way over here. This is the main avenues over here, right? Just temporarily, let's just make it nice for the people, for you and for me and the entire human race, I guess. And this park in the middle, you know what, we're gonna tweak this. Let's make this as uh, some type of a little square. What happened over here? Oh, did I do that? Yes, I guess I did. Let's demolish this. Uh, we're gonna move, let's move the school. Let's move the school to about here. Let's demolish this. And can I? A little bit out. Can I just move this guy over here? Don't even mind. No, I can't. But hey, yes, I can. Let's do this with this school. Where's the front? Where's the back? Here's the front. Let's get this guy in the back like a... Like a so. It's not perfect. It's far, far, far from perfect. Trees? Now. Now it's kind of perfect. This fire station is going to be moved as well. And let's do something like this. Sorry, you're moving out. This house is going to be moved into the middle. This guy is going to be moved to here. And then... A beautiful avenue like that let's uh, demolish this guy how about this that is kind of perfect kind of symmetrical but uh, let's uh, let's delete this here in the middle as well and then let's just see here the town hall can we squeeze this in nicely somehow over here uh, I guess we could even in the back let's do this guy like this so this is gonna be the town hall. Don't don't you guys worry about a thing, okay? We're gonna make a beautiful street going uh, like this, and then we can maybe make a little square of some type. And in the backstage, by the way, didn't we unlock new categories over here? The pleasant park could be a thing. Let's uh, see. Can I surround this kind of nicely somehow? That goes uh, to here. That goes like this. <laughs> Awkward commentary. One on one with <laughs> Welcome everybody. It's something alright. 
So now we have a beautiful town hall of ours. We still need to kind of squeeze in uh, some of the, the slots over here, like peoples and whatnot. Flowers for the lighting. Look at the bikes over here. How sweet isn't that? And what goes for the square? Maybe we could use the pleasant esplanade. Uh, plaza benches. Memorial statues. Um, let's do benches. Let's do... Boom. Boom. Okay. Just a boom, I guess. Yeah, you know what? That is not too shabby. Then on this side, let me just see if we can squeeze in the theater somehow. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. Um, poop it down. And I guess, I guess the park is not bad. Like this, this hedge park. Okay. <laughs> Don't you guys worry, okay? It looks shabby now. But eventually those guys will be upgraded. And over here. This looks so nice. I like this. Theater. It does cost me 100 uh, the, uh, credits in upkeep, but I, I take it. Then maybe, just to kind of make it... Uh, not that we need to have the symmetry going here, but uh, we could do... Could do this, I guess, right? Then having this over here, that goes like that, this goes like so. <sighs> it's, it's something that maybe... And then in between here, we can maybe add... Uh, what is that? This, was, this would look amazing if it would just be centered over here. But let's put it over here. Um, like, I mean, a gazebo. That's not gonna work. Garden? What is that? It's just bench gardens, right? So let's put the bench garden in front of this guy. And then, I guess... Not a dirt road, Keralis. Boom. Boom. Okay. You know what, for the moment, I think... Gert Lush. I think this is gonna work out quite nicely. Also, did you guys see that I unlocked the zoo in the previous episode? I didn't even notice myself. It's not that huge, however. But I think what this is, this... Um, this is just an entrance to the zoo. Okay, I do have a uh, refund, full refund enabled, so let's just poop it down. And let's just check this out. Parks. Yeah, so I think what this is, is that all the expeditions we're gonna do, or be doing in the future, we're gonna be bringing home uh, pieces to the zoo, like animals and whatnot. This is kinda neat. And now, we can just, and now we can just grow like a huge zoo, or build a huge zoo somewhere about. But at this stage we just have an entrance with fake elephants. So how about, how about no? But uh, what do you guys think about this? The theater is up. Are you guys happy, by the way? Yes, you are. So now it's just beer and rum, and then everything's gonna be set, pretty much. How about those guys? Can we upgrade? Nope, not yet, but eventually you will be upgraded, hopefully. <laughs> like, I mean, prime location for those farmers, I tell ya. Spank you for saving my game. Look, there's a ladies up on, um, on the theater up here. Okay, like I mean, uh, yeah, it does smell good, lush. I take this as a as a start, as a beautiful transformation of our of our city. Even the school, like I mean, that is kind of placed in the perfect location. Look at the kids! Look how happy they are because of uh, of something. Not school, I guess, but they're just happy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a thing. Gasparov just snuck up on us and destroyed one of our fisheries. But uh, Monkey Crab is making his way, as you can see over here. We are gonna wreck some face. Boom. Also, didn't we create... Let me see here. Didn't we create uh, four gunboats? Send them off over here. Not that we need them, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, Monkey Crab. I thought we had a ceasefire, Gasparov. No, comrade? Okay. No, no, it's no. Ho, 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 ho. We missed. We missed a lot. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Look at this. He's running away, but my gunboats will intercept. Maybe not. You know what? We might catch up. We might catch up. Okay, Monkey Crab, back to, back to harbor. Just stand up here. The gunboats will pursue Gasparov's ship. Oh... He's zigzagging. 
<laughs> well, yes, it is. <laughs> this is exciting. This is exciting. He lost all the speed and momentum. And uh, Gasparov? <laughs> oh, comrade. Yes, I will accept the ceasefire for an hour. The ship of the line, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing piece of engineering. And I know there's going to be even more ships in the full game later on in April. And even trains. I know there's trains in the game in the later tiers of people. How cool won't that be? But uh, you know what? Let's just leave this beautiful beast and let's go over here. Where's the... Where's my clipper at? Okay, clipper, That's you will be loaded. Sea sponge. Sea sponge is going to be loaded with timber in masses, maybe even 100, 150, please do. And then some bricks. And um, who's over here? Is that Fortitude? Fortitude? You will be scoring. Sea sponge. And we're going to go over here to the island of uh, Campford. And we're going to start setting up our new community over here. We're going to be doing peppers and maybe some kettle farms. Because we're going to be preparing for the canned food production. And I guess the sewing machines. We get pretty much everything we need on the, on the main island, don't we? Because we do have, I believe, let's see here. We do have this location for coal. So I guess we can set up a coal mine like this. And, uh, Alto Rod. How is that looking? Is that the same? It is kind of-ish. It does got to be some type of conveyor belt. Because I don't see any cars coming out. Amazing what you find down here. What did you find, lady? <laughs> this is this is awesome. There is cards. This is the first time I see those guys. Okay, that is beautiful. Look at this. I'm a nerd. Yeah, I know. And then we have one more coal deposit. Where was it? This is copper. There is coal over here as well. Okay, so let's just set up one more of those uh, coal mines over here. Like I saw. And then road and road. And um, as thinking of it, let's just go over here to this zone. How are we doing on, on the stuff, by the way? We do have 54 steel but it's going down what we could do is this um, by the way can i upgrade those guys indeed i can voila ladies and gentlemen this is the latest warehouse in the in the artisans category what a beauty uh, let's get this guy as well and i believe we have three cards of this this as the fourth card that is great. Do we need any? Yeah, we need a multiple place, I guess. But I was thinking, maybe we could do make use of this area over here. Because we do have those mines over here. Iron and copper. You know what? Let's do that. Let's extend... Um, maybe not that one. Maybe this one over here. Let's extend this guy to about here. This may be connection like that. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't ask me why. Let's just... Let's go with the flow, okay? Then maybe an iron mine. And let's uh, see. So we would need... We would need maybe even more of the of the furnaces. Because um, we are running low on steel. Not the steel beams, just the steel. So let's do one. Let's do maybe two like that. Surround them with a pointless road of pointlessness. Because that is how we operate. Okay, it's going to be smog filled here as well. And then I guess we will have everything we need to produce the swing machines. Besides the factory. Can I squeeze that in nicely somehow over here? Okay, perfect fit, Corrales. I can maybe, maybe, maybe even make two in the future just behind each other. Perfect. <laughs> Is it really? Well, I guess it is. It is smog field. But uh, the sewing machine production is going to be in full force very, very, very soon. Oh no. Ay, 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 caramba. We have a lot of firefighters en route and we are squirting all over the place. So hopefully this will do it. Like, I could just imagine those shacks burning very, very fast because of the roofings they've got. That is like, what is it, palm tree? A palm uh, palm leaf or something? I don't want to be the guy, but this is beautiful. Seeing the theater, the town square, the town hall. It sure does look better than it did. I hope at least. And also, the fire has just been extinguished over at Bella Verticale. And by the way, are you guys happy in your life with swing machines? 
Gertlash, yes you are. Alright, so we've done that pretty much. Now is the question, do we put in one extra sewing machine factory or maybe turn our attention to canned food? So cattle farms is something you couldn't do on another island, pepper production the same. I believe the kitchen over here is going to be employed, well it's called artisan, uh, artisanal kitchen, so I guess there's going to be artisans working in this factory, right? So it's maybe, maybe better to set up those guys over here on this main island because we have the workers and we have the artisans. So let's do that. How big is this guy? The artisan kitchen. Uh, it's a huge pot of goulash. <laughs> goulash 1800. <laughs> Love the name. But that is the same size as the warehouse. And the time on this guy is 2 minutes. Okay, sinking in progress, sinking in progress. Mayday, mayday. We are sinking. Hello, this is a German cast guard. What are you sinking about? Let's do this. Let's do one. Let's do two. Let's do three. Go big or go home, okay? Obviously, we're going to surround them with a beautiful road for, for reasons unknown. This is going to be here. And you know what? Just to please everybody in the comment section, we're going to have beautiful grown trees all the way around like a dad. Perfect, yes indeed. And then, let's see here, how big are those guys? Uh, the, the canneries. Okay, this is gonna be a perfect fit. Maybe we can even squeeze in. Um, turn them like this and do one. I am, I love grids. And this is just gonna do me great. I can spend all day just looking at this. Look at those guys on the little balcony over here. In the sewing machine factory. You know what we should do? We should maybe even pause those guys. So this guy will take um, the goulash and combine it with iron to make the canned food, alright, or the cans. And this guy over here will take beef and red peppers to make goulash. You are genius, Corrales. What we should do is maybe pause uh, or just stop those buildings from uh, costing money at this stage. Let's do that until we, like, now that we... Not that we lacking money or anything, but I mean, it's just a waste of cash just having them up and running until we have this production set up. So we do have Sea Sponge and we do have Fortitude over here. Uh, by the way, did we unload everything? No, we did not. So Camford, how are we going to go about? Let's do Rods. <laughs> rods. Let's go a lot of Rods. And then let's go. <laughs> Man, it kind of feels, I feel so boring doing this. But what can a man do? Let's do this maybe a little bit differently. Here's just going to be farmers on this island. Let's maybe do like four and four. Well, spank you. That is amazing, I guess. And then... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be nice, right? Okay, I'm going a little bit crazy on this, I guess. But for the greater good, Sea Sponge is going to be back with more planks very, very soon. But those guys will require... I am not your uncle! But... Um, those guys will need some food as well. Can, that is kind of like the basics. So let's just set up one. Well, one should actually do it. I mean, the population is not that that big in Camford. But let's wait for Sea Sponge. A um, heart in there. I'm sure of it. Man, we do have, like, there's something, there's something between me and uh, Bent over here. Jürgensen. She likes me. Arthur, not so much. Uh, Ching? Not so much. Uh, Anne, well, she's a pirate at the end of the day, right? Can I upgrade this now? Yes, I can. Okay. Spank you for saving my game. Boom. So this is how the level 3 port looks like. But, like all the models in the game. Is this, is this actually in the clock which, which my time is in real life? You know, I need to check this. That is exactly the time I'm recording this video. Don't tell me the clock in the game goes after a real clock. Because that would be quite amazing. Maybe it's, maybe it's not how it operates, but this is definitely the time <laughs> of my recording. It's like half one. But Sea Sponge, you go over here, you beautiful soul. We're going to build up this community. So then we're going to turn our attention to making the kettle farms and the pepper farms and then we need to export them back and forth back and forth so i'm gonna actually maybe queue up who's this Stations. earl of sandwich you're here as well Good to see you, uncle. <laughs> i am not i am not i am not your uncle let's queue up maybe one more what do we pick a schooner 
Maybe a frigate, a cargo slots, three item slots, hit points, damage per second, does have a little bit of firepower, let's queue up one of those. And this is going to be our trade ship going back and forth uh, between the islands. What we could do is technically maybe bring some clothes over there. And schnapp, oh crap, schnapp is an issue over here. Where did you say you come from? We don't have any taters. Okay, so let's do let's do a more farms over here, I guess. Uh, first of first of all, let's do this. Let's uh, set up a few extra houses just in case. Let's do one more tile of houses like this. And I'm not gonna put all the houses here at this stage, but just for the future, let's just get this row so we know where it's gonna end. Somewhere over here. And then let's see if we can squeeze in some of the schnapp uh, potato farms. That is. Let's go one. And this has 72 fields, so how does it look if I just take... Okay, it's gonna interfere with... what you gonna call it? The, the wood over there. So what would happen if I would do schnapps and I would do maybe one and two like that and then take it out? Okay, it's gonna leave one square. <laughs> okay, that's gonna suck. In the middle? I guess in the middle. So there's gonna be one guy. How many can I do then? One... Uh, two, let's do three. Okay, you know what? I don't want to say this, but I'm pretty much a, a greedy genius. Do you guys see how nicely this is going to line up? Who's the man with the master plan? And obviously, just to please everybody, trees, boom. The beautiful island of Camphor is up and running. By the way, protection. What is required for the for the ratatatata guns? We need cannons or weapons. And the same goes for this and some steel beams. We should maybe even import some of that or just bring some of that over here. Just in case we get under attack. But it sure is busy over here in Camford. Thank you for saving my game. So now let's turn our attention to this, the canned food. We need kettle farms and we need red pepper farms. And then we need to export this. By the way, is my ship ready over here? Is this the frigate? What's the name? Pepper pot. This is just... Everything is aligning. This is just made for, <laughs> made for this voyage. Or this task. So let's just bring this guy over here. We will be loading a pepper pot with some meat and peppers. But um, let's do this. Just in case, in the future, let's maybe make one more square of farmer residence. I'm not going to build them because, you know, I don't want to pay... Or I don't want to feed more mouths than I need. And we have a little bit of surplus farmers on this island at this stage. So let's delete this. And then, no and then, let's see here. The canned food and the cattle farms. Um, so how big is this guy? How many fields? Four. How big the fields? They're like three on four, right? Ay ay ay. Ay ay caramba. So how would we do this to make it look nice? Not efficient, just nice, I guess, in my books. Let's maybe... If I would move this guy to about here, that means I can have one farm here, one up here. Okay, it's still gonna leave a little gap now, isn't it? So I would need to move uh, to about here. What brings you here, Master? And then do this. Nope. Bring it, okay, almost had it. Let's bring this guy down, like this. This field goes up here. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a waste of space, I would say. But it might look a little bit nice. And then we just do this, this, this. And uh, just to be amazing, we're just gonna plant some trees in the front. This is not bad. Look at all those cows. They will be killed very, very, very soon. But they're gonna be delicious. So uh, let's do one more. And I believe if we just do the same design, which is a little bit of waste of space, okay? This is not efficient whatsoever. But uh, let's do uh, let's do Onomas. I'm gonna do it pretty much the same. One thing I need to check is the time. Oh, no, 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 no. And is the time on the production of the, of the beef over here. So how long does it take to produce a cow? Two minutes. Okay, so two minutes on those. How about uh, how about the pepper? That's two minutes. So two minutes and two minutes. So they kind of balance each other out. Two minutes on the goulash and 1.3 minutes on the can. All right. So how many do we do want to do? Do we go big or do we just go home? That is the main question. Let's do. Let's do this. You might. But so what is happening? I don't know myself. I'm gonna have a little warehouse placed over here. Uh, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna find something to squeeze in, in between here. So don't, don't you guys worry about anything, okay? And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mirror that shape. We're gonna have one over here, we're gonna have one over here, we're gonna have one over here. So we're gonna have four of those, and then we would need maybe four um, pepper farms, or even more. Because I guess, like, if we get a surplus of it, we can just sell it. Look at my cash income. 7,200 people as well. Hopefully the community in the new world is still alive and thriving. I haven't been there for quite a bit of time. But, um, yeah. You know what? Let's do this design. The pepper farms. Let's see. How big are those guys? So I put it down. Okay, there's a tiny, tiny little fellow. Okay. So if I would put it down somewhere about here. So we need four of those uh, at this stage at least. And they have 108 fields. So what would happen if I would just go... Okay, that's a little bit boring. It's not really that compact either, now is it? You know what? Let me see here. Uh, what would happen if I would... Okay, that's going to waste the space now, isn't it? Okay, this is, this, is, this is just for testing purposes. What would happen if I would place this guy... Like so, maybe? And then have this guy over here... And then have the farms going in the back of here, like that. How many How many main do we have? There's 33. And then... <laughs> this is not efficient, but it kind of looks nice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it this, this way, I guess. Like that. Do we have the max amount? 108 and 108. So yeah, what we need of those... Oh, by the way. This needs to be upgraded. We need more cards. So, Wuno Mass. And if we bring some windows, we can do this uh, Dos Mass. But for the moment, we're just gonna have... I love the smell of you as well, lady. I haven't heard you in a while. Uh, what do we do here? Do we squeeze in some houses? I guess technically we could. There's, there's one and two. In the back, just maybe some trees. Design-wise, not too shabby. Not the best one we've seen, and not that efficient. I believe this will struggle a little bit, uh, picking up all the stuff from all those little like bits and pieces. But since those guys are fairly slow, like it takes them two yeah, minutes to produce uh, a cow or a pepper. So yeah, we should be fine. I guess we should be fine. We also need to make some beer production, but maybe not in today's episode, because I want to set up the canned food production and uh, transport that back to the main island and uh, see how that produces over there. But what we need? Peppers. So let's go uh, pepper and let's go Something pepper. Else. We still have a huge surplus on, on the farmers, which means we could totally set up a beer production later on. I love the smell of you. I love the smell of you as well, lady. Better this be is fun. beautiful. Look at all those peppers growing. I can appreciate the art of others. Thank you, Arthur. It makes me very happy, comrade. But this is set up. Uh, how's the production going? Let's see. Items. Uh, items in the warehouse. Do we have? We have a little bit of meat. We do have a little bit of peppers. 24 meat already. Has ended. Oh, no. You know what this means? This means he would attack us. But it does not matter. You know what I was thinking? About the clock. Let's just go back here quickly. Let me just see the time on this on this tower. It is! This clock is actually working after the real clock in uh, in real life. Or the time. That is amazing. Why, why are we... What, what, what is happening over here? Okay. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I know you need clothes. But uh, that should not make you riot. I'm gonna put... Uh, are we in full effect of the whole town? Yes, we are. Just to make it look nice, I'm gonna put it here in the far end. You guys build up. We need to strike down on those uh, people who riot. Show no mercy. Your streets are safe again. Perfect. Did we kill him? Or would we just capture him? Hmm, interesting. Take him to the Gulag, please. Or just give him to Arthur Kasparov, I guess. But what I want to do, I want to do this. Routes, uh, create trade route, like so. We're going to add a ship, which is going to be the Pepper Pot. Perfect. And select station. So we're going to be going to Camp 4. In Camp 4, we're going to be loading um, peppers, like 50. And also, no, 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 no. Is it load? That's it load, okay. And I guess we're going to be loading some meat as well, or beef. 50? Yes, please. And then we're going to be going to Liquid, 
and we're going to be unloading that. So we're going to be unloading those and that. But in Liquid, we're going to be loading... Uh, well, eventually we're going to be loading Schnapps. So let's do this. Let's load the clothes at least and unload them over here. And then... Okay, accept, accept. And hopefully the, the pepper pot is going to be going over here and loading it. <laughs> I'm not sure this was the wisest place to put the, the goulash uh, factories in. Those chimneys just picking up pollution. And there's the, the peppers and beef just being mixed together, stirred up by this little guy over here. But uh, I'm kind of happy that this is working out. Which means those guys should be having what they need. Yeah, look at this. Look at the beef and peppers going into the, to the factory. It will take a while. But... Uh, this also means that, the, the, like, I mean, the boats going back and forth should have enough time to bring back, uh, bring a new uh, beef and pepper to the island. Ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully distributed canned food within the community of Liquic, and also we have unlocked the fur coats. That's gonna be something for the next episode, I guess. And what is this? The hospital. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let's wait with that. And how about the fur coats? Hunting cabin, fur dealer. Cotton plantation and cotton mill. But that can only be built in a new world. <laughs> this is so awesome. But you know what? We will start the next episode, maybe even uh, building up a stable beer production over here at the island of Camford. And also Get maybe rest. even getting some Don't hunting cabins. Because we do have fur abundance over here. We're going to see how that operates. But uh, you know what? Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Good luck in the giveaway. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of um, Anno 1800. One of the most amazing games I've played in a while. I'll tell you that. Look at all those peppers. All those happy faces. All those cows. Uh, cute cows. Delicious cows. <laughs> See you guys in the next episode of Keralis. Over now, have a very, very nice day and good luck in the giveaway. What is that? A museum.